Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me, folks. Today, for me, today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. It is 421 Eastern Time PM as I'm speaking and recording. Glory be to God. I praise God for every single one of you, and I continue to thank every single one of you. I don't know who you are, but you know, and God knows that I just praise you or praise God. For Forgive me. Let me correct that right now. We'll not praise human. We, we're not called to praise man. Praise God. We can give thanks to human. We can appreciate one another and all that. We're called to do that. But I do thank you and I appreciate you for joining me as we continue to give God glory together. Amen. Today's title. I love, I love it. And actually, I did not think this was the scripture where we would go, we would be going to. I thought we were going to go to uh, Matthew 21, 22. Today's title is Believe and Wait. Man, and I know this is a tough one for a lot of us. And I got to say us, because one body again, folks, if one of us is struggling with something, the, the whole body is, the whole body feels it. The whole body is affected by one part of the body struggling and, and, and being under attack. And I'm telling you right now, folks, the body of Christ is under attack. But the book I read, the book that I believe in, says we're going to get attacked. It says we're still victorious. We are more than conquerors through Christ who loved us and died for us. Amen. Now seated at the right hand of the Father, and we're seated in Him. Guys, re repetition. My brother Keith always said, repetition is the mother of all learning. Every day, who cares if you sound like a broken record every single day? It, until it becomes permanent, until we can honestly have true faith, trusting God, believing God, being patient with God. I think He's probably been patient with every single one of us. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly confident of that one. But today's title, Believe and Wait. Believe and wait. Our scriptures is Psalm 27, 13 through 14. It's a very short psalm. You already know what I'm going to say, folks. While you're in there, and that's all I've got highlighted is those two verses. So at least get that in you. But I would encourage you to read that whole psalm. I read it in a couple of different translations. It's a good one. There's some good things in there. A lot of powerful stuff. But And I might also add Matthew 21, 22. I'm looking over here, folks, because I've got it uh, framed down here in the office. And Matthew 21, 22 says, uh, let me see what it says. Yet when you pray, you can pray for anything. I'm sorry. You can pray for anything. And if you have faith, you will receive it. I don't see where that verse says you will receive it immediately. Ask, believe, and wait. Or be pray, believe, and receive, you know. And there's a lot of people out there, maybe some of you watching this right now, I've, maybe you've heard it. Maybe you've said it. I'm not the name it and claim it type. Guys, I read so much scripture that says we should be. Whatever we speak, we got to believe it and receive it. That's naming it and claiming it. No, we're not going to go around and say, in the name of Jesus, that mansion be mine. In the name of Jesus, that Cadillac, that's... No, no, no. It's got to line up with the will of God and God's glory. Physical healing. In the name of Jesus, I will not have this. I will, and I believe it. That's name it and claim it, folks. Again, man-made religion has totally separated the body of Christ, my opinion. And yes, scriptures will back that up. I think just the, the name it and claim it has such a man-made ring to it. It just doesn't sound very righteous and biblical, but it can be supported. Uh, so believe in wait, Psalm 27, 13 through 14 reads this. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Guys, all we got, it does not take much to look around and see the glory of God right now in the land of the living, even in your own life. Just look in the mirror. That vessel you're in has still has a heartbeat and it's, the lungs are still working. That is the glory of God right there. Even though that's not you, that's the vessel you're in. That's another story. This We don't have to look far to see God's amazing handiwork. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Amen. Uh, today's devotional. Uh, we got a devotional, and then we got a, another another late century poem I'm going to try to get through, folks. Uh, and, I, and I read this devotional. It's short. And again, this comes out of, uh, you, you know, devotionals for a peaceful spirit, serenity for women. So I think this one probably came out of a um a, a ladies or a woman's journal or devotional. So we're just gonna read it the way it's written. 
Again, Genesis 1, 26 and 27, man is male and female. So this is for all of us. If it builds us up and encourages us and brings our faith level in God where it needs to be and we got scriptures, that's for all of us. And this is what it reads. What does a woman do when all seems lost? When she's ready to give herself up to darkness and despair because there seems to be no hope, no hope at all. She digs deep within herself and draws upon her faith. Her, she, him, he. Guys, what do we do when all seems lost? When we're ready to throw the towel and we feel like we're overwhelmed. We dig deep and we rely on our faith. We rely on the power of the Holy Spirit that's in us. And we, man, guys, I can't pick up that word. Open up the Bible and read it. You don't understand. I'm just in such a busy place right now. I just don't feel like reading the word. Well, then. I'm sorry, if you don't feel like opening up the word of God, then get over it. That's all. I mean, I know that sounds ignorant and nasty, folks. If we are not opening up the Bible when we get these attacks, we are saying, Satan, congratulations, you win another one. We got to stop. It. We got to. We've got to force ourselves sometimes. Guys, I've, not, I've had to force myself many times to get in the word of God, but I know I've got to. If you're hungry and you don't eat, your stomach's going to keep growling. If you're thirsty and you don't drink some water, your mouth is going to continue to stay dry. You know, we could go on and on with all these different parables that we could use. Um, dig deep, draw yourself upon your faith, folks. Over and over again, God shows you how he can do the impossible when you find yourself stranded between an army of problems and a sea of despair. Just when you think there's no way out, God in his goodness parts the waters giving you hope that you will live to see another day. All you had to do was trust in him and wait. I'm going to pause there. I can't speak for the rest of you. I can't speak for myself. And maybe a mark majority of you, you felt like this. You felt like you were at the end of the road. You felt like you were towing the line at the Red Sea. And you are all about ready to give up. And then God parts the sea, shows you a way out, gets you through something, a way that you could have never imagined or dreamed up or even created in your own mind. And you, and later you go back and you're like, Lord, I am so sorry. I am so sorry for doubting you. Guys, we have done that. Thank God for God. Just <laughs> praise him that he is the loving and understanding and patient God that he is. But Hebrews 11, 6, without faith. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Today, believe that you will see God's goodness enter into your situation. We've done many, many devotionals. Many of these videos were said, expect God. Expect it. Expect him to stay true to his word. He wants us to. Don't just, don't just hope like, like that. Uh, there's a fine line between hoping and believing. You know, we, we're, we're called to have hope. We got to have hope. Hope, faith, and believing, they are all relatives. They're all relatives, and there's a lot in the Bible about all three. We kind of just, instead of hoping God can, know that he can. Expect him to do it. Don't hope that he will. Know that he will. He's fine with that. Trust me, God is fine with that. We've said it before, uh, and I think it's up in my bedroom on my wall, placard. It's, uh, it says, faith is not believing God can. Faith is knowing that he will, no matter what you're going through right now. Know, know for a fact, whether you feel it or not, know for a fact that God is going to get you through it. Have patience with God. He's got patience with us. All you need to do is stay calm and have courage, courage, faith, hope, belief. We can go on, folks. God will give you the strength to do so. Who? God. God will give you the strength to do so. Okay, folks, hang in there for this poem. Uh, George MacDonald, my prayers, my God, flow from what I am not. I think thy answers make me what I am. So praying for, okay, this is, let's just read this. I don't want to destroy this poem. Like weary waves, thought follows upon thought, but the still depth beneath is all thine own. And there thou movest in paths to us unknown. Out of strange strife, thy peace is strangely, strangely wrought. If the lion in us pray, thou answerest the lamb. I don't know what to say about that one, guys. I'm sure if I broke it down and wrote it in today's English, it might make a little bit more sense. Basically, I think what George is saying here, if it's the lion in us praying, it's the lamb that answers. It's the, when we're 
like the depths, you know, if you see an ocean, the waves ripping and tearing underneath of all that, the water's calm. It's still, the water's still, there might be a current, but it's not ripping and flashing and splashing. We do, we do on the outside, but it's the Holy Spirit in us that remains calm. And that's what we got to pull on and rely on that inner spirit, that, that uh, the Holy Spirit that's in us. Amen. So guys, I love this title. Believe, know, believe and know, and just wait with patience. We've got to get rid of the microwave mentality that God, I asked you, where is it? This is God is not Amazon Prime. He's not going to deliver it the same day or, you know, the next next day. If God, he can. Absolutely, he can. And he has. There's been times in the scriptures where, it's, where somebody's prayed and it's come immediately. There's also times where people have prayed and it's taken many years. Why are we any different than the apostles and the prophets and the forefathers that have gone before us? So, guys, God has never changed. If he proved faithful to all those, he's going to prove faithful to you and me as well. Amen. Just got to have absolute confidence, continue to pray for patience. And I'm, I'm telling you, and that's one of the first things I prayed for was patience. And when you do, you can't grow in patience unless you're given situations to be patient in. So actually, if I could withdraw that statement, I would. If you want to pray for patience, go for it, but buckle up and put your mouthpiece in. I would just continue to pray for God's wisdom, God's guidance, this God's God's peace and calmness that's in us already. Just continue to pray for things like that. God, and I, that's all I can do is encourage you. I can't say enough. God is going to give you what he gives you. He's going to give me what he gives me, our own cups. But I won't stop saying, please, every day, make that alone time to spend with him so he can communicate with you and tell you how much he loves you to remind you what he wants to do for you things like that okay so guys thank you for joining me today until tomorrow wednesday the 6th enjoy the rest of your day and we will see what the lord says here i love you guys